Okay, got a good question from the last video. Um, we did this procedure called, uh, called draw a house, uh, to draw a house uh, a number of times. So let's see how that works. And so it, it draws a house three times, okay, if we call it with the number three. Um, the question I got was, uh, okay, it draws three houses. Can we draw those three houses side by side across the screen instead of down the screen? Uh, and the answer is yes, uh, but it takes a little bit more work, uh, and we're going to use something called buffering. Okay, uh, so in order to do this, we'll have to save each line because in console, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge because uh, you print line by line. Okay, so this is one solution to this this problem. Okay, uh, so I'm going to create uh, a buffer. Actually. Uh, we'll create an array of strings here, but we'll start with a string type because each line of text is going to be a string. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, screen line. Uh, it's the first thing that came to mind, but whatever uh, variable you want to use for your buffer, a lot of times we just call it buffer. Uh, and then we're going to have how many lines here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for each house. Uh, so we'll create seven for our uh, array. Uh, of screen lines uh, and remember it's going to be from 0 to 6 uh, for those 7 okay so we're going to just going to modify this uh, for loop here and so instead of actually sending it to the screen each time we want to send it to the buffer okay so I'm going to change this instead of C out we're going to send this to uh, screen line sub 0 okay and then we're just going to kind of concatenate that to the line. So the next time through the loop, if we're drawing a second house, it's just going to append it to that string and add that into uh, the top of our house. So the spacing is kind of important that we get the spacing right here um, for each one of these lines. Okay. Uh, so then we'll do that for each of these. Uh, so the next line, instead of C out, we're going to just append it to uh, sub one. So the next buffer for the next part of the roof uh, to the next part of the roof and, and so on uh, down the line three four five and six okay so we won't need these end lines either okay um, at the end of each screen line we we may have another house to print so we don't want to push it to the next line uh, we want to print the next roof on the same line so uh, we'll get rid of these also okay so now that we've gone through this loop, we've buffered everything, but we haven't output anything. So we need another loop uh, down at the bottom, uh, and we'll go through seven times from zero to seven. Uh, that, that will be, or actually to six, uh, to go through each uh, buffer that we set up. Okay, so we'll output each one. So sub zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then at the end, each one of these, we will go to the next line for the next uh, screen line buffer. Okay. So with this modification, let's try it out. And so now we get side-by-side uh, -side houses. And uh, again, using our parameters from, from the last time, uh, we could change that to four or even five um, and execute that. And uh, it should buffer them just fine and print out however many houses we want. Uh, we might have to add a little more if we want error correction in there where there is a limit to the size of the screen. but. Um, up to the screen limit size, we, sh we should be okay for this. So, uh, good question on uh, you know uh, how do we how do we do this side by side and maybe a little bit more of a complicated answer with having to buffer, but uh, there's always a way to solve uh, any problem.